Okay, ladies and gentlemen, today is January 12, 2022. 30 minutes after half six o'clock in the morning here in Slovenia in Novo Mesto, and I'm gonna do some video here. When it comes to mind, I'm thinking, when I was repeatedly thought on MK Ultra, I'm gonna submit more proofs. Uh, with advanced knowledge on a certain city, this is this is the way I was brainwashed uh, from the past. You know, when I'm not supposed to be here, and blah blah blah. Proofs about MK Ultra. MK Ultra doesn't even sound right. This was something else. This was not an MK Ultra. This is something completely different. <laughs> This uh, doesn't have anything to do with MK Ultra, really. Prior knowledge uh, could, as well as mine, be my suicide. And this nation is a suicide if I would present this as a prior knowledge. Advanced knowledge. MK Ultra. We came that kind of lot of knowledge uh, that kind of language doesn't apply here. Uh ladies and gentlemen, in ninety-eight and ninety-nine I was even brought to Bosnia where I would meet with Americans who try to talk me all the time for years ahead already on collaboration with the Serbian Chetniks at all the costs and it was just thanks to recent Australian case of Novak Djokovic a famous tennis player whom I have also recognized once I paid attention to one, that I did manage to identify Mr. Daniel Rex Smith, American psychologist, even, who protested as first Donald Trump to American delegation in Bosnia, however, tried to desperately get me into collaboration with the Serbian Chetniks. Esper might not be interested in a type of relationship at you know as one is according to his views was to me completely out of any interest to deal with but for two years Americans desperately desperately tried to convince me that it was in my best interest in collaborating with what they gestured me were the most competent uh, the most reliable partner to partner with that's basically with the Chetniks, with the Serbs it's in my best interest that these are the people that they decided they're going to work with and that's it so it was also in my best interest they expected me to give in um, trafficked, hijacked, drugged up, hijacked, abducted, and trafficked by the top U.S. government official, Central Intelligence Agency, on U.S. President's behalf since, or at least authorized, since Bill Clinton that's when it all started up to date Joe Biden was involved since the beginning of this game since 95 at will to please Vladimir Putin whom the United States of America desperately needed the West for the greater global agenda for the purposes of torture, of beatings, public lynching, death threats, 
for which I claim I received at least 10,000. It was nothing but public lynching. It was, it was beatings, abuse, public lynching. And at times the politician would take time to video record themselves with me at some more pleasant locations and will give this probably to my parents, to other people, to distribute and get completely wrong idea about exactly what went on. It was the case that was built on nothing but lies and crime. That's why, when it comes to Sevnica, the home city of Melania Trump, about 30 kilometers 20 miles from the city where I am from, her father, Victor Knaus, was involved in MK Ultra since 95. A very greedy, miserable Yugoslav secret police, if you want to call this individual. They're the worst people you possibly could hope for you will come across in under Yugoslav regime. These are the people that would actually either authorize to get you killed or they would use the weapon on me. This individual was hungry for the money. Needed one to upgrade his house. His house was new and he needed to finish the work on that house. And he thanked me twice with the beatings every time. Once he got the money, he was always, I don't need you anymore, I don't need you anymore. He hated me from the bottom of the heart. And so, thinking about this, shopping centers, I've also seen in Kershko city, and this is all like this all over Slovenia. Whenever they would open like a shopping centers, they would just uh, like this here, like you said, a Tush market in Sebnica. There is a Mercator right there. Shopping center, you can see. Uh, they would bring me along here is the picture I took on January the 4th, 2022 of this and then they would do a public lynching they would try to embarrass me psychologically destroy me in front of the crowds and um, all this shit came to mind maybe the best of all was about at this place here where now a little store is standing a little store It looks like this, a which picture I took, and um, you can see along the store, you can see this, right here, it goes along the river, you can see, you see this, this uh, trail here, we would go here for a walk, and uh, it came to my mind how Victor Knauser, the father of Melania Trump, one time hit me here really, really hard, straight in the face because of the Russians. 
So I had a lot, a lot, a lot of sour taste in my mouth before I actually entered in this store and identified the girl involved in MK Ultra. Um, for whom Milan Kuchan, when the store was opened, uh, claimed that this was just one of the few chances I have left uh, for the marriage. That all the beautiful girls already got married, but there is still one free. And uh, they still managed to find me one. Yeah, Victor Knauss, father of Melania, Trump, a very close associate of Milan Kuchan. And so the girl did insist in me, just to be politically correct, I don't think she's on that page though. No, I think she's okay, girl. But it gave me chills when I saw her and uh, when I recalled how she cheered for this Chetnik issues is greater Yugoslavia as they refer to one as um, so much it was just unbelievable the problem with this shopping center in Sevnica is that every time whenever we would come to Sevnica we would leave with a car and go straight to Austria I it's my homework they told me that you have to find in Austria there is a store a little store just like this somewhere just along a beautiful river like this one here there is a river and there is just a track like this right next to the river and that's what I tend to confuse that store then with this one and so you're gonna hear me saying here even 2005 that's a mistake that was a store that was open in Austria always from here we would go to Austria from Austria or I should say through Austria to the Czech Republic where Ivanka Trump Eric Jr. parents actually mom Ivanka is from so they didn't like it here too much time they didn't like to spend here too much they like it but they didn't want to spend here too much time they preferred Czech Republic um, here we would only come here because of this uh, excuse me uh, let me let me repeat this we would come that's Donald Trump's language we came we would come do you remember we would come with this that's bullshit hijacked renditioned brought for beatings and crap I was not come I was dragged along for exactly what I stated, for abuse. Basically to be wasted, to be destroyed, to be killed. I lost in process no less than 27 years of life. That's not we came, fuck this. And knowledge in the end is an insane, paranoid. That was the pay I got. And then a play with a breaking spine, cancer, and that kind of stuff, which started with the psychiatry and so on not so pleasant in the name of help that was a fucking help I got so let's go I'm gonna play you the first audio recording uh, it's the first audio recording I'm gonna play you it appears exactly this place here it was open in 2005 I have identified this young lady a beautiful young lady I identified and uh, we're gonna go from there
these are not entire audio recordings, these are extracts I'm going to use and we'll translate them for you. This is the register, basically. Uh, the register where I'm paying with the cash, I tell her, I remember you. She says, really? She says, no, I don't recall you, she says. Two thousand four, two thousand five. I remember. Uh, the only thing I know about her is that I remember her since the beginning of the story. That's all I remember. Now, as I mentioned, from this location, we would always go straight to Austria. I have to look. There is another either Hofer, Aldi or Lidl store. Just like this one, just identical, is they confirm me under MK Ultra. That's why I had a great difficulty with this stuff. Uh, but that one was in 2000, 2004 and 2005. And I remember her in this place since the day one she started to work. But the year was 2015 when she started to work. But she gives me okay. She, in fact, was working here since the day the store opened in 2005, in 2015. She says five years. No, no, no. The store exists since 2007, 2015. That's seven. After I identify her, she confirms me from the beginning. I tell her, you are here in the store. She says, yes. And I say, just when once I'm leaving, I said, you have a friends and a high positions. And I tell her about Milan Kuja and stuff like this. She blushes, and I walk out. Unfortunately, and I apologize to her in a really bo bad mood because of the stuff I stated, I recall, happened to me here in Sevenza. Yes, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mentioned Melania's father that... I said you have a good you have a good friends and a very high position. And she says no. I said oh yes. Okay, never mind. I go out. The next place I had to is I go outside of the bridge, I go out of the store, I get to the intersection and I go back toward direction, I, I proceed back wherever I came from. Okay, it's coming along well. The next couple I meet uh, are grandparents with a child. So this is where I'm heading next. I'm going back in direction 
wherever I came from. And um, there is a bridge right here. And on this bridge, I, I, I see them, they have a child, and I decided to be playful. I want to cheer because of the memories I, I just recalled. And so I talk to this family. I want to joke, relax myself. And uh, I get opportunity. There is a child looking at the water and the two elderly grandparents next to him. And let's see how that went along. Hello, hi, how are you? I ask, uh, is there a fish? Is there some fish here? Um, and the child is throwing stones in the water. And I say, oh, wow. I say, look. Something is jumping in there. Uh, I, is this fish? I asked the child, and and he goes, no, no. <laughs> but uh, I insist. I saw. I saw there is something jumping. There is something jumping. I want to excite the child. So. <laughs> And the child starts explaining, no, I throw the stone, it's the stone I threw in the water. So I joke further and I say, listen, are you throwing this because uh, you want to kill some fish with the stone or why? Or you try to scare them or whatever I said. So I, t I asked him, are you fisherman? Do you fish and stuff? And I asked the grandpa, doesn't teach you how to fish and so on. There's a, such a beautiful river. And and the grandpa says, uh, no, no, no. I said, but for your grandchild, you, you definitely will become a member of the local fishing association. Wouldn't you do that? <laughs> Everybody's laughing. For the, for the grandkid like this, I, I say to him, I think you should, and the grandpa is doing like this to me. And that's, in a little bit, you're going to see why, because he's going to ask me some questions that clearly are going to signal why. He told me, because of the degree of torture, he told me, we don't even know how you're going to be when we're going to meet, how you're going to look like psychologically because of the stuff they did to you. That's why. And so he was happy that he saw me that day in a, such a humorous, positive way, you know. This is a great man, this this guy here I'm talking about. This is one of the best people ever. I tell him, for the grand child like this, who would not want to become a member of the fishing association? And I say that it would be good for you, you go fishing, and she's asking, are you a fisherman? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I tell her, yeah, I used to fish, and so on. I ask, how are you? 
because I remember these people. I said, how are you feeling? I said, how are you doing? You know, sometimes it's good to steer clear of your own way. And uh, rather than to think about your misery, maybe it's good to pay attention to other people and hear how they are doing and so on, how they are feeling. It's just, I realize, the best way to get away from the crap that you can recall from the past easily. Uh, I think he already told me about the Parkinson disease that he got, something like this. And I said, wait a minute, I, I recall you, I remember you. You retire yourself, you retired yourself, but you retire yourself already in, I say, like, what did I say, 2001 or something like this? 2005, I said 2005, I think. He says, no, in 2018. And I say, I ask him, when did you get the Parkinson disease? It was way earlier. And he says, 2013. I'm not going to forget, because this is one of the biggest supporters, if not maybe the biggest in Sevnitsa I had, this man. And he told me one time we came that he thinks that they did something to him now because he got the Parkinson. The year is what he says it was 2012, 2013. That's when I was institutionalized. Everything went really for the worst back then. And recalling this again, it is really was one news after another bad news. It was it was just lining up. It really was later on I realized that he told me this in 2012, 2013. I did not point anything here so far, but I'm catching up with the memory. Let's go and see how that goes along. <laughs> Okay, really, it's nine years since he had a Parkinson. Uh, I could go for less or whatever, but uh, I didn't. I didn't point properly. Um, it was not in 2005. Uh, really not. Uh, 2013. That's like eight years of a difference, but still, that's not so bad. I did. He says, of course I remember you, of course I remember you. And the lady says, no, you don't. He said, you don't. Where, where, how? I said, you know what? I tell, I tell him, you must live here in vicinity because you always walk through this park. And I have in my mind, there is like a little park here. This park here. This. This. This park here. This. And this here. Uh, right here. Uh, you can see the river here. This. This is like a little park. The people would go with the dogs. And then on the other side also there is a park right so that's basically I tell them where I remember you from she 
She says, yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, the tree is eaten um, from the animals that live along the water. And I tell them just to be humorous, I tell them that's really good for the fish, uh, it's really bad for environment, it's a damage, but the fish is happy to have a place they can hide. So I joke more how the fish can escape, the little child is there. From the bridge, and you can see the tree. And again, I'm playing with the child. I'm asking him where the fish is hiding. They like the trees that are underwater. In the what I'm doing right now, I'm buying time quickly, trying to recall where exactly do I know the couple from. Just pointing out that the guy had a Parkinson already for nine years doesn't do me enough. I need something better than that. And even that, I made a mistake. I went for 2005. I said the two of you, you should, you should go and become uh, a member of the Special Association. And uh, a grandpa would teach his grandkid, and the grandkid would teach his grandpa fishing. And the two would catch fish definitely. Right now, I grab and I tell the gentleman, well, sir, you used to work right on the other side, right across the river, right there, there is a factory, and you used to work right there. Boom. I don't even have to go to the other side, but there was an old road. The old road this American psychologist would guide me right through from company to company on the other side. And uh, one of the men that would meet me that was working in, in the company as I pointed out on the other side of the river was this gentleman also. So Sevnitsa is not small. It's not just like this. Uh, there is many locations this man could work, and this is the first thing I identify that is correct, in fact. 
And I explained him about this road, this old road that was hmm, more like a trail. You know, because I started to catch, I started to recall this Sevnitsa. I didn't go past this little store. I didn't go anywhere anymore. That's all what I recall from the past. This is the road that is more like a trail, you understand? You would have to be local to go there, through there. Otherwise, you would not know for the road. I'm from the city of the Novo Mesa, it's 35 kilometers from here. Not even in the craziest dreams would I go for some kind of hiking under normal circumstances there and checking out trails, old, old, old trails. If this road even exists still, I remember the part of this trail was actually even close to something like this. I didn't go. I should go through that trail next time and identify more. Now, they're asking me if I'm a local and this and that. And I say, no, I'm not. And they're asking me, where are you from? knowing me very good. So that kind of stuff is supposed to help me out. You know, act like they don't know me and this and that. Where are you from? <laughs> I'm from Novo Mesa. I came walking here. I tell the lady I I did came I did go to buy some bread over there in this little store so that I can corrupt uh, dogs as I go through the villages through those mountains there is dogs American psychologists did this too everybody did whoever was walking through there they were buying uh, basically um, bread like this and they would distribute one to the dogs here you can see some um, all kinds of animals that I feed with bread too that day along the way back to Novo Mesto but it's really good because the dogs uh, that are otherwise not on leash they get to know you. Um, it really, really helps along the way. That that was the purpose, to buy bread and feed the animal as I was returning back. I was really successful at that. So this is why I was at Lido, I explained it. So for one thing, I did point it out the location of the gentleman. I asked if she ever, if she recalls some American guy that she doesn't recall me. The man asked me what it felt like when I was brought from the U.S. and I tell him nothing good, I was jerked up and this and that. Not voluntarily. Yeah. 
There you go. The second thing I do is I point out her profession, therefore the lady's profession. I tell her, and uh, from what I can recall, you were a teacher. You were a teacher. She was a teacher in a grammar school. From what I can recall, the school American guy would even take me to. She, and I also pointed out that she speaks English. You can hear this. Not the teacher of English language, but you speak English. She says a little bit I do. She speaks very good. That's a nonsense. They're asking me if the Donald Trump was here during the presidency. It doesn't matter this. Donald Trump with Melania during his presidency, I think it was in 2019, and these, these people wear silicon masks. You would not recognize me see them on a the street. They are nothing vocal about, they don't say anything when I ask them, you have to, I said, now you have to say something for me and this and that. And the lady says, no, 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 let's go. We say goodbye. We go apart to say bye-bye to one another, and I stop, and I remember that there is something about brother and sister issue. I catch them again as we already go apart, and I say one more thing I have to ask. <laughs> There was a neighbor who died, uh, and I said, "Are you are you possibly a brother from my neighbor? Because he kind of looks like a neighbor." And it was always about this couple, brother and sister. The thing is that, or brother or sister. 
The thing about it is that she, whom I have pointed out, she's a teacher. She is a sister of a very famous, very well-known Slovenian politician. That's what it is, and it didn't come to me on time. I tell the lady, and you are from Goranska region, from Ljubljana, Goranska region, somewhere, you are from Goranska. She says, no, I'm not. She says, no, I'm not from Goranska. And I'm pretty sure that she is. Okay, so I got wrong about him. This is not a brother from my neighbor. But I know the issue is about a brother, sister. And she says, no, I'm not from... Uh, I'm not a brother from him. I only have two sisters. But the lady insists me that she is also not from Gorenska region. She also says, no, 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 I'm not. She says she is from Podbrda. Podbrda, Podbrda, that actually is Gorenska region. Berda, um, for every guy from Dolenska, from where I am from, that's actually like the Dolenska region, where the mountains are and stuff. This here is Dolenska region, except that this is right on the border with as the lady is going to explain, this is near Ljubljana, North Gorenska region, you see. Let me demonstrate you map. So here is the map. I'm going to save this map to demonstrate you this stuff. So now you can say clearly, you can see that I totally identified this couple, beyond any doubt, I identified the couple. I don't think anybody can argue that I would not know the couple from the past. These are the regions in Slovenia. Right at this point, let me demonstrate to you. I am from here. This is a novel mesto. Uh, I came somewhere over here this is a Sevnica where we meet with these people and I point out that these people however uh, she is from this region here that you see that is marked with this color here this is Gorenska region and she says she is not from Gorenska region but actually, when you look at Podbrdo, you see this is still me in this here. You can see that she actually is from Gorenska. You know, this here, this is Gorenska. This is Gorenska here. You see? This is Gorenska. So, whatever is marked in this here. So she actually is from Gorenska region. Not telling the truth, she is from this place here. This is on the border between Gorenska and Goriska. 
It is on the border between Gorenska and Goriska. Uh, also because the map changed. Before, this used to be all Gorenska, including with the parts of Ljubljana and all this here that you see. And here it only was Primorska, Primorska, Gorenska, Dolenska, Steyrska, Prekmurska. We, that's all we have. And we also have a small part here called Koroška. But in meanwhile, from what used to be in Yugoslavia, Slovenia, through independence, they established new regions. And so she no longer is completely under Gorenska, but is now basically on the border between Goriška and between uh, Gorenska. So she is, she is extremely, extremely technical. Now, this is a sister of a very famous Slovenian individual. I don't know which of the politicians it is, but the politicians that, that were involved in this stuff, it's actually even possible. I don't know. It could be maybe from this individual. I have no idea from which, which uh, individual. Probably is not this individual, but it was one of the pro-Slovenian independence individuals, and I didn't take time to go over and see who is actually from the place she states me. So I pointed out three things. The guy worked, used to work, right on the other side of the river, correct. I pointed out quite close that He had a Parkinson, I pointed out, 2005. In reality, he had since 2013. Even that he retired in 2018, he said, of 17 or whatever. He had one earlier. That I did not hit. I did hit 100% that she was a teacher. That was a very good. I did point it out that she speaks English. And I even pointed out that she is actually from Gorenska region. So there is no way you possibly, looking at this picture here, again, I am from here, we met right here, and I pointed out that she is from Gorenska region from here. No one in this world can dispute me that I did not identify these people 100% with a very crazy details. These are not coincidences. This is, as my American psychologist Daniel Rex Smith would say, advanced knowledge. It is knowledge of some kind, but I'm not really proud of it. But right now, it helps. And really, it's thanks to him. And I have this knowledge because he drilled me time and again, time and again. He didn't lose hope. And that's why I forgive him about this, about the Bosnia and all that kind of stuff. But, you know, tough, tough stuff, tough stuff. Um, anyhow, what is she going to say? <laughs> She said, but wait a minute, but wait a minute, wait a minute. Podbrda, Podbrda is a village that you cannot even see on the map. And I go on and I don't give up. I don't give up. In my head, in my head, she is next to Kran. Kran is this here. Look, Kran. See, Kran, Kran, Kran. Okay, so you're talking about what 20 kilometers from the crown basically okay crown crown and these people keep talking no 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 of course it is with a, such a detail with a, such a exact ability to point out where in slovenia she's coming from at a completely different place we are at right now that is impossible otherwise. 
to są mokroje, a nie tam Goręska. No. Tam je, my jamy z Goręską, Trybowską. <laughs> She says, no, there is a border, she is on the border between Gorenska and Primorska. No, that's not true. This is now called Goriska. No more Primorska. She is wrong too. Really, 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 this should be still Gorenska. Look, you know, let me demonstrate you. This is how exact I did this. Okay, so... Um, yeah, all you have to do is basically take this here, uh, and then basically you just have to go, and you have to select the, ah, uh, it doesn't give you a chance for you to see, um, uh, over a period, but this is just interesting, know how the, with the time, even the maps change. So this is maybe how technical I can be at all. I can be technical too, you know. I can be more technical because I have more advanced knowledge. My knowledge is far more advanced than all this stuff. Because I tracked Slovenia like nobody else, even when Slovenia was Yugoslavia. So there was no such thing like a Gorishka. Ha 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 ha, you know. Okay, this is maybe too technical. I am a fanatic, if you want to know. And I have all the maps about Slovenia from the past and everything in my head. Okay, so there you have it. Uh, I don't think I'm going to find this. There is nowhere, there is nothing. Uh, and what is this thing here? Here... 20,000, whatever. Uh, that's not true, I never did this. What this now? Okay, so maybe I'm even wrong. <laughs> maybe, technically, maybe I'm even wrong. But this here, uh, pretty much this this here that I'm about to demonstrate, this used to be the old map about all this here. Okay, so still I would not make it through on a technicality. <coughs> taking it too far no really not yeah still I would not get through you can see the map Primorska is much bigger and Gorenska is also much bigger and what is known as a Gorishka did not even exist okay okay whatever 50-50 Gorenska 50 and 50 the new here known a region as a Gurishka whatever 100% shot I did so nobody can prove me I was wrong about anything <laughs> It's, uh, and I keep talking about the the brother, about the brother, about the brother. This and that. She is a, a, a sister of a very famous Slovenian. Donald Trump, who also knew about this case, told me that I have to go 
through the parliament, Slovenian parliament, and find out. Uh, let me see here. Put Burdo. that I have to play with this and look uh, which one of this um, I am not going to be doing this kind of stuff now uh, some other time I'm going to be doing that kind of stuff that the very famous Slovenian that is from Podbrdo okay so which one is it I know that this man was for the independent Slovenia, but which one of this would be? Uh, I would have to take time and go over and over and over and over again. This definitely would not be it, that is impossible. He is from Maribor. No, it's not. Uh, I don't know. Uh, the, the, the guy I have spoken a little earlier about, that's probably it. I don't know which one of them. I would have to go over, but I know that she is a sister of a very famous Slovenian politician. Okay, that's it. The next issue is going to be this one here. On my way back to Novo Mesto City, I actually observe I observe like a little I'm not gonna say grave, but I observe like uh, it appears to be on the side of the road. It's like dedicated to someone who died in the year 1996 in an apparent accident. Wow. Uh, some really interesting pictures I took disappeared from my um, desktop here or am I just really plain mistaken Anyhow, the gentleman I'm going to meet, I asked about this little memorial, this little, yeah, the memorial that was placed for him, for whoever the person was deceased in 1996, uh, and this thing right on the side of the road, and I'm disturbed when I see this, I'm worried about what... I'm saying, what's going on? What is this? Why? And so, the gentleman tells me there was just somebody that uh, drove with a tractor, you know, and the tractor rolled 
over and he would fell under this tractor and he said this man would die right before our eyes no no I don't find somehow I, I don't understand I see that there is stuff that's practically gone that maybe let me see this here let's see if we can get something here yeah we're gonna see this stuff here see if there is a, some picture by mistake that is in here so, so I don't see any of it So just on the side of the road as I would go and uh, it really really disturbed me because especially I pay attention to whatever is 95 and 96 I don't like the idea uh, of seeing stuff like this it, it immediately awakes my curiosity about what possibly or who possibly that could belong to or whatever is it maybe this one here no it's not it's also not not that would not be cool already if it would be inside of the recycle bin but yeah it's all possible Oh, let's say this here that you see here <laughs> this is also interesting uh, well why not I'll take a shot and see that I didn't do a good job because it was night already so much no it's not It disappeared, man. It disappeared. Um, <sighs> but going back to Novo Mesto, here somewhere in this mountains here.
there was a memorial that was dedicated to a man uh, let me demonstrate you what the tractor is tractor tractor looks like this this is a tractor like this this is um, what a farmers the tractor was a classic old tractor in Slovenia was like this one here this is basically something like this it was it was this old tractor they used to have in Yugoslavia still you know uh, all cranked up a tractor like this one this is a perfect one there you go something like this it was similar to this um, and uh, the man I speak to where exactly was this here this was located Okay. I think it was located uh, actually right here this uh, yeah this was probably located somewhere right here here in this area here it's it's just a little memorial that's dedicated to someone who died in 1996 and um, you know because we used to walk through here in 1996 I was very very interesting what exactly happened who died in 1996 right here a little memorial dedicated to him this is completely completely in the mountains this Klenovic you know Klenovic this is high altitude in the mountains uh, I actually yeah I think that actually somebody even removed from the computer this thing there's a lot of interesting stuff that happens to my computer uh, stuff like this happens And so I proceeded and I asked a nice kind man I met this is a farmer I met and uh, I asked one I said could you please tell me about whom exactly is dedicated like a little memorial right on the side of the road uh, 
like you would put something like on a grave that passed away in 1996 and that's basically where we're going next that's 1996 this is what <laughs> He told me the man I asked him about this memorial he rode over with a tractor as I as I pointed out, that's used to actually to prepare the field before, I don't know, they seeded the corn or wherever they did over there. Uh, the man rolled over with a tractor. And when he tells me about this stuff, I am still not completely sure exactly what is he talking about. Yeah. I said 96. He says it was a Saturday in 96, he tells me, and there was this band, uh, Corrado and Randy, whatever he is saying. At that time, there was this group and uh, these musicians and uh, they were very very famous this is just a random man that was doing supposedly his job that day and as I walk on my way back home in the evening uh, I somehow came across him and I started to talk now these people they'll just go and they'll just meet me like this along the road and then if you want they'll talk to you uh so they're giving me tips they're meeting me and they're giving me basically a help to for me to recall the events from the past which at this opportunity i really did not <laughs> We, he rolled over with the tractor, and we just went by when he rolled over with the tractor. Yeah. Uh, we were on our way to some place where there was this band that was playing music. I said, what is this, the Corrado and Brandy? He says, the musicians, no. No, this is already a big mistake, big minus for me. Because this guy was involved. He was not involved since 95. No, no, no. What exactly happened, and he doesn't say this. He tells on Saturday, and we were on our way to meet Corrado and Brandy, the musicians. When he said, we, I was with them. This was one of the nicest people of this circle they found me to be with. It was, let's just finish this audio recording. This is very, very interesting. You see, they don't tell you anything. They want you to pull out of the memory or nothing. Oh, okay. So, Corrado so Corrado I says, oh, okay, okay. Because I look at him so strange. Because he look at me you know, and says, well, how it's like, in a way, like how you don't remember this, right? Uh, uh, yeah. And I said that he rolled over with a with a with a tractor, and he says yes, yes. Yeah. 
la va bai ca pa un exemplu. Și să spun, nu știu, dar pre la He says, if you recall, if you recall, if you still remember. Well, for sure, that is good. I have no choice. But how can I do this? Must I be crazy? The test on the levy stuff. If you're going to pass, who should do that? Can you get me to do that? Who should do that? Madam, not me. This is true. She says, you're going to have another cross down there when you come down the road. And I said, what year is that one from? And it says, uh, 79. And I said, I said that one, I don't care. That one I'm not interested in, I tell him, from uh, 79. I just want to know about the 96. Of course, I was brought from the U.S. I was hijacked from the U.S. repeatedly from 95 and up. And I say there was a lot of stuff that happened in 96, 95 and 96. That's what I'm, that's of my interest. I am demonstrating him a video that I hope for. I'm gonna find one. I will be able to demonstrate one to you too. Uh, unfortunately, I think that somebody was just uh, so damn smart that some of these videos uh, simply uh, disappeared from my laptop but I will be able to demonstrate them here because I think I did make sure that before I would play with this kind of stuff I would transfer them to some safe locations so that I can still I hope so can present them to you right now so this is from my external hard drive I'm going through right now. It was a morning, you know. He doesn't say any of this stuff. It was a morning. Uh, as we speak, he's, I tell him it was a lot of stuff that happened back then, and he says, it's okay, it's okay. No, actually, it's a little bit more about this stuff. It's not just, it's okay, it's okay. There is a whole a lot of more stuff that I have to say about it. Um, that, right about this memorial, it belongs to his sister from what I can recall and I can give the whole background about the properties nearby how they built what already was built you know I can do that kind of stuff because I recall all this stuff it was in the morning that we would be on our way to this Corradon Brandy 
the hour maybe according to myself was between 9 and 10 according to my memory and he says it's okay it's okay no it's actually it's not okay the man who rolled over under the tractor I know that the sister of the man is gonna maybe resent me but I'm gonna tell you that even my neighbors when they learn about exactly what she complained about resented me bitch to everybody in this village about me even that's how far the sister have gone uh, this guy was a regular violent thug you heard me right no I don't have a memorial and I am glad I don't have one today maybe I wouldn't really but let me explain to you something back then I told the lady to go fuck herself I sent her to hell knowing that this was actually even her brother that rolled under this tractor to be completely detailed the evening before this bastard rolled over and died in that tractor this guy committed himself to Milan Kuchan and to Borut Pahor and have attacked me I was drugged up and he would go for about maybe two three hours yelling screaming at me exactly the stuff I have seen other people have done before he physically and mentally abused me and was trying to set an example for other guys for everybody around how they have to treat me like a shit that's what I am for to be abused, beaten up over there, spit in. And he wanted to demonstrate, he tried to demonstrate this as a very resolute individual who would basically know exactly what he is doing. He acted like some kind of leader, like that's the way you do, it. that's the way we do with you. You know, you're nobody, you're nothing. All these people knew me from 95 and 96 when I brought this business people that this country had not even seen in existence of Yugoslavia. I brought here kings from Holland, from Netherlands, from Norway, from Sweden from Britain that were willing to that they pledged themselves to invest here tremendous amounts of money for these people here to have the best jobs better than in Switzerland and it was Milan Kucha and it was Danilo Turk that threw them out from here and now I had a farmer a fucking nobody yelling at me cursing me over there treating me like a mistreating me like a shit punching me he was so certain, he was so self-secure, so self-assured that the next day in the morning, maybe he even drink alcohol, I don't know what the fuck, he had a hair, he was partially bald, this guy. He climbed on a fucking tractor the next morning and karma happened. He did not even respect the gravity issues you know the fucking gravity when you do the stuff on the field with this kind of machine with this kind of vehicle you can roll over this guy was so fucking crazy that he didn't even respect the fucking gravity he did not respect God he was possessed by evil something have him in his hands and he paid for it right there and right then the next morning we came by but he was right there under the truck in front of under this tractor right in front of me laying I was so pissed off at him that I told the other guys 
let's just go. I told him, let's just go. Let's proceed. There's going to be other people there. You informed them. I, I, I told this guy, this very guy, did you inform other people about this? Because it was a whole village that came. And he said, I did. So I said, so fuck it, let's go. So what? That's the way it was. And it was this sister of his that resented me and went all over the place and blah, 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 blah. But assumed no responsibility for what the fuck happened. It was the people like this that collected money from Kujan, from Pahar, and so on. That's exactly what happened. I'm repentless to very today about this. So he says to me, oh, it's okay, it's okay. Uh, with me always was okay. I'm going to tell you today, for me always was okay. And always will be okay. My conscience is clear. This man I talked to, that's an interesting one. He tells me he's not from there because we meet up in hills. But once you come down in a wa in a valley let me demonstrate to you this here yeah you're gonna say Bob you still have this felt going everybody knew about this stuff yes I do I do you understand you you bloody understood me exactly why I do because I think this guy this guy was a fucking traitor, if you ask me. Good, also, that you removed this from my computer. So his name is not going to be everywhere. Because I would have tell you the same thing right now. As I stated. Let me tell you. With his memorial on it. What angered me the most is that when I came to that memorial... It was the sister who told me under MK Ultra that she will always resent me this. There is nothing to resent me for. The one who should resent is myself. She had no right whatsoever to resent about absolutely anything. The man I speak to, this is interesting. I did not go and check all this stuff out. But he's probably is here. What it says here, a church of Saint Jacob, Tsarovets, or whatever it says here, Aradulia. Let me see this here. What is this city here? Aradulia. Aradulia or church of Saint Jacob. Uh, what's interesting about this guy is he has a farm. These people always had a farm. He also has a sister, I can tell you this. But what's interesting about his farm is he is in the center of this village. That's what I can tell you about this farm. He had me many times there. This is a very nice guy. And he'll tell in a little bit also about... Uh, what I don't even care about. Uh, Bord Pahor, that he saw the Bord Pahor going through there. That doesn't do me shit, uh, because, you see, the thing is that I don't want Bord Pahor in the picture. I want Bord Pahor jailed. These people did a lot of problems to me. These people did the evil to me, to the people. They screwed this country up. And I'm not going to call for Borat Pahor. I don't want to have any kind of admissions from Borat Pahor. I'm not desperate to hear from Borat Pahor or from uh, Alexander Vucic or, let's say, from Sheshel, from the Chetnik over there from the Serbia, that they know me. Or from Vladimir Putin, that they know me. Fuck that. I'm not desperate for those kind of proofs. You don't get me. I want these people arrested. I don't care about this stuff. He gives me a green light that, that it was also a Borat Pahor that he uh, saw him the other day, that he was jumping back and forth. Borat Pahor was here on many, many occasions. It doesn't make a whole lot of difference. From Ljubljana to here, it's not even too far, whatever that the case would be. 
that does me nothing. But this here, this was really good, about 96. This is a really good stuff. Let me let me see if I can get some. Corrado Brandy, Corrado Brandy band, uh, Slovenian band. This is just a local music hunters, musicians. Um, but they got some kind of financing because they got involved in my case. But because I got such a bad reputation, Udba started to death threaten them because I liked the girl from this Corrado and Brandy and she liked me and she was blonde girl and then they started the people around they started to threaten they're gonna kill them death threaten them and shit like this the whole band fall apart and even tragedy happened to this band i think they whacked one of this band group musicians because this slovenian people liked me it was no evil like this registered not even in a yugoslav federation that this Milan Kuchan managed to accomplish in independent Slovenia. That much about the Corrado and Brandy. Some of these musicians, maybe maybe the girl was actually from here, from one of these villages up there, as I came from. I liked them a lot. They started to get afraid of me because I disregarded all this Udba, all this shit. I became unapologetic in my stuff, whatever I was doing. That was the sister from him. He says, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I was feeding I was feeding this um, this animals yeah this this was manually removed from the computer this is not a coincidence and uh, I had a video recording about feeding feeding them with that they would come and and uh but it was the neighbor here again this police officer here who told me uh don't demonstrate how you feed them with a the hand because it's going to be people from all over from seven it's other parts they're going to come uh if they're going to see that kind of stuff don't do that and this and that and so yeah i think that this stuff was actually removed from I feed it both I feed it them and I feed it them whatever doesn't matter uh, so basically that's that I have the original audios to prove this stuff I'm not gonna be putting this online no and then what else do we have here we have a here it says a car sale Okay, this is just, I already talked about a driver, how I made the first sale. I did not, but they didn't know how to start to sell the deadliest weapons to the Serbs, and they put me in between. Milan Kuchan did this stuff. Borut Pahor did this stuff, Udba people did this. And with the truck they have taken, supposedly the truck truck was loaded with a, 
with the trees. They say Chluat, whatever, and ship through Slovenia and Croatia to Bosnia, and we would go with the trucks. I said that that grenades started to fall around the trucks and stuff, not too far from the from the trucks. Uh, that's the stuff I already described. The one who replaced this driver was exactly the driver I met here, and he's just a nonsense driver. This guy just talks about how he went to Bulgaria and this and that. This is, I go on my way back, is the man that walks along the road in Shmarieta, close to Shmarieta. So this is just the identifying people. This is how you meet them. He, he goes very slow, uh, and as I go back, uh, toward Novo Mesto, I come right here. This is Shmarieshka to Plitsa. Before Shmarieshka to Plitsa, this is place Shmarieta, right here. And this was the truck driver that started to regularly drive me since 2012 to Bulgaria, Romania, through the Balkans, basically. He replaced the other truck driver. As I walk, I meet him here on this road here. We go together right here. This truck driver, what I can tell you is um, about the truck driver. Because he got involved in this case after he already became retired, uh, they gave him three extra years to work, to earn more money. He made more money because he was involved in this case. Uh, but other than that, this was just uh, not really the person I would want to be under MK Ultra near. Uh, he had a dirty stuff he had to do with me on behalf of Milan Kuchan, on behalf of Borut Pahor again. Um, he has maybe even two daughters. One he does for sure. And the daughter was really beautiful. Uh, I was actually interested in one. She really got my attention under MK Ultra. But when I was repeatedly brought to his house, the man displayed a uh, very controlling behavior and I was poorly dressed uh, and his behavior was like it made me feel like completely awkward in his surroundings in his new house I can describe uh, before you go inside a house he's got like a little area where you would this is a new house he built for himself. Um, you would change shoes and then you would go inside. And he's got this daughter, really good looking from what I can recall, which, however, I have sent to hell. And him and his daughter sometimes, I don't know what year it was, probably 2015. Uh, I just didn't give a shit about really anyone. If you got on my nerve too much and he did uh, I would just lose the patience and say fuck off don't bring me here anymore there were so many other ladies interested in me uh, that this guy I had idea that he behaved like he is a king because he built a house which is a good thing that he's proud about that he worked as a truck driver uh, he earned his money but I think he, in his head I wasn't worthy much I wasn't worth shit and he told me these things that people don't like me here people don't like you there and this and that so I said fuck off I said don't bring me there no more uh, he wouldn't recognize anything even the stuff that I pointed out 
it was difficult for him to Actually, this is not even whatever I have this audio recording. I'm not going to waste time on this stuff. This is this one here, actually. Let me see this. He talks to me about a guy who has a pain, the pain in the in his spine. Actually, I did identify him. Hold on. So he walks, he walks, he is doing his exercise because he has a pain in his spine. We meet. He complained about he has a pain in the spine and how I did identified him, I point out the year when he suffered the spine injury, when the spine injury became uncontrollable to the degree that he recognized his pain as an injury. That's, that's how I recognized him. That's how I identified him. I, that's how I can claim the credit. Yes, I did. <laughs> I tell him, you have this spine pain already for quite some time, I remember, I tell him, right? So, let me demonstrate to you. Let me let me demonstrate to you what exactly that looks like. Okay, just as an interesting thing. I cannot even do this. But there is a little road, a new road that they have constructed for the pedestrians along the way as you go here. 
Uh, there is no way I can even demonstrate it, this. And you can walk right along this road. It's a beautiful pedestrian road they have, they have created. Uh, and we walk together down here. And so I, I tell him, I know exactly how long you have this spine injury. <laughs> I tell him this is already for a nice time you have this stuff I tell him uh, you have this about seven years I tell him even more than seven years even more than 2015 So I tell him even longer than 2017, uh, 2015, so that would be the next for me, that would be 2013. He says, that's exactly what it is since 2015. So even this guy I have identified, nah, there you go, not even this here. Seven years. He says that's exactly what it is. Seven years. Yes, <laughs> I try to get from him some kind of recognition so what I do is I tell him you used to tell you used to take people along with you too to Romania and to Bulgaria and he doesn't give me any kind of green light he doesn't say anything since more than not this is a waste of time this guy I thank him anyhow very much for meeting me over there, but this is, excuse me, fucking useless. This kind of stuff, meeting people, identifying people, telling them how long they have a pain in the spine even. Uh, unfortunately, it didn't come to me about his daughter, about his new house he built. Um, and I didn't feel good. I didn't feel good in his surroundings. So, I think it was like since 2017 I told her I don't want to be there no more. I don't want to be brought here anymore. And off I was taken to another locations, other places and so on. Every one of these people that wanted to daughters to date me only told about one thing. Every one of this father. And that's about this. A lot of fucking money on the table that I would receive from these wealthy people. That's all they had in their mind. That's all it was. And this was just uh, simply not impressive stuff to me. So, as you see, I have identified quite a few of the people in Sevnitz alone in the little store I have pointed out about the girl that was employed since the beginning of the store. That was 2015. Then I have pointed out to the couple a location of the gentleman where he was employed right across the river on the other side in one of the companies. I talked about the road that only locals would know as American psychologists told me the case is going to be if you're going to recall that. A road that is actually partially, I think, 
maybe they have even closed one down portion of it at the end of it I think or something like this <sighs> a long time I didn't go through this uh, this is a road like a country road kind of style abandoned road it used to be big and then it was completely abandoned uh, but it goes right between these factories you know then I pointed out that she's a teacher by profession his wife therefore uh, and I pointed out basically the location near Kran 20 kilometers from the Kran where originally she is from okay on the border between Gorishka or uh, where it used to be Primorska and Gorenska regions in Slovenia okay so that's freaking outstanding then I told you all about the guy that rolled over with a tractor it was a morning hours when this accident happened I told you this guy was even bald partially it's probably good that this little his whatever was dedicated to him that was removed from my computer because man I wouldn't stop people only think about their resentments but they have no fucking idea how I resent the shit what do you think you can go and beat up somebody you can go and drug up somebody and just abuse him for the sake of the enemy of this country, of this nation. Are you just going to put me to fucking torture? For the one that actually roamed the country with the tanks here during its independence proclamation? You don't do this kind of stuff to me. And then I identify also this chauffeur who replaced the original chauffeur that would at times take me to Balkan, through whom Donald Trump had made the first sale of the weapons to the Serbs in the year 1996. I hope it was, yeah, it was 96, it was not 95. That would be too fucking insane, 95 not. 96 I think it was that's something already I have spoken about that's when wait a minute uh, that's something I have to translate yet from Slovenian to English I did that for the Slovenian audience most part and that's all there is that was a trip to Sevnica the day I made exactly 69 kilometers I think um, Americans insisted me that I should take um, they were all crazy about this thing here they they okay there is really I admit this is not a usual stuff uh, this is on one of the chapels I did took the picture of this chapel uh, and to Americans this is like a when they were becoming here this is really unusual that's actually a sword through wherever you want to see this thing as whether you wanna whatever you want they told me that this is what scared people like Gingrich people like Romney uh, people like Trump people like all these people that scared them away when they saw this stuff that's like I this here I don't know could be as a heart or whatever 
and then there is a sword through, right through this, and the cross is on the top, and whatever. Uh, that kind of stuff for the chapel, I, I don't precisely know what exactly that will represent, I'm not going to say anything. Uh, according to the local priest here, it's not so, I don't know. Maybe if this is unusual, the Americans have seen also unusual, this kind of stuff. So these are the chapels that you go along the road. But remember, this is not a Protestant. This is not the Lutheran religion here. Remember, this is a Roman Catholic religion in Slovenia, the same like in Poland or in Italy or in Austria or in southern part of Germany. So these things that you see on the internet about Illuminati is uh, it might be like really really unusual to you but according to the local priest here from Otorchets vicinity from St. Peter's vicinity here from what I can recall uh, the locals made meeting for Americans with him who interviewed one these things are not so unusual this is this is in a Roman Catholic way it's nothing so unusual so there was nothing that the locals would do uh, to screw Illuminatis because Americans were excited when they saw these things oh my god Illuminati Illuminati and stuff like this this here from what I was taught under MK Ultra that I can recall just by listening to uh, the people I went along the stuff they talked about this actually even is some kind of sign I was told that's got something this is like it looks like a triglow it looks like almost like from Slovenian I'm not going to say coat of arms but flag um it reminds of the mountain known as Triglo. Uh, but I was told actually also some kind of a local forestry association is using the sign like this and stuff like that. Nothing so unusual. It's on the chapel. Yep. Uh, so I did this photographs for you guys. I did the kind of stuff, I did it, um, but as I stated, according to the local priest who went ahead and, you know, this priest didn't make sure that there would be nothing crazy around, really, that people would not do that kind of stuff. They inspect absolutely everything. Nothing that would put Illuminatis, as you refer them as, at stake or I should say on the stake you're not gonna roast them tonight uh, if you just happen so that some of these pictures come familiar to you good you can post them from Hollywood to the internet whatever you like and you can confirm that you are here Everybody from the Hollywood was here. You, you, you hear me this? Everybody that counts in Hollywood, everyone, every person was here. Everyone. And this is what Prince Charles even demanded these doors from William to to take the photo to photograph them this barn here was so original to him this barn was even more original to him than than what you have just seen right there now you can see a little crown over there don't you and that kind of stuff on this old barn here this is almost like a piece of art, isn't it? That's 
how old they are. Uh, some of the stuff was added, but really original. These doors are beautiful. Yeah, it kind of almost looked like a witch door. This is just because the stairs were removed. Yeah, so you would need broom so that you could land inside and open this door and go inside. This used to be an entrance before with the stairs, with the wooden stairs. They removed them. Uh, farmers like to play with this, make decorate this stuff beautiful. It's but you know nothing is as beautiful as old stuff because it's carved. The time carves one, so there is no art. There is nothing you can you cannot reproduce anything like that. So that's how. That's why. Okay. So there is nothing else for me to say, right, about this stuff here now I don't even know what is this is just the image okay and I see quite a few things <laughs> were removed from the computer okay somebody did a good job at removing my stuff still I'm gonna thank everybody uh, for meeting me, for giving me an opportunity to go through the time. Even to the sister of this deceased man that told me that she's going to do that she's going to wave her nose and this and that uh, I don't know I know that she did, she didn't mean like this that she, she didn't mean it that way I didn't mean it that way either but you know I took all this stuff really seriously uh, at the time when this stuff was happening I was guilty for everything and it was nothing but beatings it was a really, really bad stuff. You have no idea what I have gone through. Uh, when I heard this kind of stuff that somebody sent me, boy, I, I... Okay, to put it plain and simple, if you would do this to somebody that would not be drugged up, that person would come the same day back and burn your home and probably fucking kill you and your family and everything. You understand? This is what went on at MK Ultra. And it went on like this more than on 10,000 occasions. I want to be really with explaining with a precision. If you would do the shit like you did to me on a single occasion to the person that would not be drugged up and would actually have a proof that you did this, the same day that person and I don't give a how weak that person would be he would return back and burn your farm burn whatever you have and probably kill your entire family that's how bad this shit was thanks for watching this video today is January the 12th 2022 bye bye